Are you ready? Ya cobra, pelota por arriba. Let's go. So as we know, we are getting closer to the start of the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Nigeria are on point with those beautiful jerseys and we are in Group B with Australia, Republic of Ireland and Canada, a very strong group with strong competitors. Yeah, so before we get started, we are Niger Football Kings and we will be bringing you this exclusive content. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe for more. Now, let's get down to business. So the Super Falcons will start their World Cup journey against Olympic champions Canada on the 21st of July. The match will be played in Melbourne Rectangular Stadium. Man, Canada ranks 7th in the world, that's according to FIFA's rankings, and it will be no easy task for the Super Falcons to face Canada. After defeating Sweden in the 2020 Olympic final, after a penalty shootout, Canada are out to prove they can win a World Cup too, and that title did not come down to just a matter of luck. Congrats to them. The Olympics were a sweet victory for the Canadians, but I bet they want the World Cup. So who's the one to watch for Canada? It can only be one person. Christine St. Clair. Canada are coming with their own goal. She's got 190 international goals and is back for a sixth World Cup. She is a dangerous fighter and one the Super Falcons need to guard closely. But hey, that's good. All the pressure will be on Canada. Nigeria have drawn with them at home. As you can see, beautiful goal by Onumonu there. Nigeria have the goods to bring it against Canada should that need suffice. Beautiful goal there by Onumonu. Yeah, she knows what's up. Canada will be without star midfielder Scott who's out with an injury. Hey, yeah. But they do have three world-class talents in the Chelsea trio of defenders Kadisha Buchanan, Ashley Lawrence and midfielder Jesse Fleming. Canada might feel confident against Nigeria but at home Nigeria took them to the wire. Actually leading 2-1 this was the second goal there. Beautiful ball in the back of the net. 2-1 but unfortunately Canada came back and scored at the death but Nigeria had the capability of bringing it to them and have beaten them at the world cup before next up the super falcons are set to face the hosts well co-hosts australia also known as the matildas who are currently 10th in the fifa rankings this match will be played on july 27th at the suncorp stadium riding the high of winning eight of their last 10 matches australia are dangerous look at this beautiful counter-attack finishing move against france so they are not a team to be played with They've got midfielder Amy Sayer and forward Remy Simpson who plays for Leicester City. Australia and Nigeria have met before at the World Cup and Nigeria lost 2-0. Ah, precious day day. Nearly. Anyway, Nigeria have won four of their last four friendlies and this was one against New Zealand with a beautiful move by Lozier on the wing into the box for Echejini to finish it off. So Nigeria have the capability to deal with Australia but we have to start on the front front foot. Nothing can be left to chance. However, Australia have a deadly weapon in Sam Kerr. So not only is she one of the best players in the group, but she's definitely one of the best players in the World Cup. The Chelsea forward just knows how to find the back of the net and she's one player that Nigeria's defense needs to lock down. Moving on, the Super Falcons will play their last group game against Ireland on the 31st of July at the Suncorp Stadium again. Ranked 22nd in the world, 22nd? Anyway, some might say that they will need the luck of the Irish to get out of the group stage. They have an excellent defense who only conceded four goals in eight games and a beautiful counter-attacking move here i really enjoy this one where the striker just lets the ball trickle into the back of the net so ireland are not here to make up the numbers and are here to show that they can compete with the best the captain katie mccabe is the one to watch she's an arsenal player and played the second most wsl minutes for the club in 2022 2023 so nigeria will have to be at the best to beat the Irish women. So what are Nigeria's chances of escaping this group? Of the four teams in the group, Nigeria have been to every single FIFA Women's World Cup, but unfortunately have only been to the knockout stages twice. Again, it is a stage Nigeria can get to. The question is, how do we progress? In the past, Nigeria got to the quarterfinals against Brazil in a massive thriller and were defeated 
on Golden Ghost. If you haven't watched that match, I recommend you watch it. And who's the one to watch for Nigeria? Of course, it goes without saying, it's Agba Bola. Some people say sometimes the team focus on her too much, but she's still the one that is likely to deliver the goods and the one that everyone will be looking to to provide the goals and to lead from the front in that sense and that manner. So Nigeria have the tools to deal with the adversity and the issues that will be placed to them in this very difficult group. I mean, might not be the group of death, but I'll say it might be a group of stress. So how far do you think Nigeria will go? Where will we rank in this grouping? It's your opinions that matter. Let's know what you think. So before we leave, please don't forget to like, follow and subscribe and watch my video on Azizat Oshola, her history on the screen right now. We are Niger football kings supporting our Niger football queens. Later.